Hey everybody, it's David and I'm back with another video. Um, so this is part one of the uh, of the D's in my journey through my CD collection video. So uh, here we go. <clears throat> First up is Lauren Daigle. This is her debut. Uh, album How Can It Be um, just a contemporary Christian pop um, you know I've heard people uh, compare her to Adele I don't really listen to Adele um, I've heard one song from her and yeah I, I can I can hear it they both sound pretty similar, but, um, yeah, so this is her debut CD, um, How Can It Be from 2015 on Centricity Music. Here's her next album, Behold. A Christmas collection uh, this one came out in 2016 on centricity I love this album it's just it's just nothing but um, of course nothing but Christmas songs but I mean it's just more just jazz and uh, it's a really good album. Pop this on. Like you're decorating the Christmas tree. Yeah. Awesome. From 2016. That's Lauren Daigle's Behold. A Christmas Collection. Next up is her latest album from... I want to say 2019 it's a uh, look up child may I mean maybe be from 2018 yeah 2018 sorry but yeah it's been a while since she's put one out she needs to put another one out so hopefully this will be the year she does that um, just another one of her great albums um, see what's uh, look up child um, um, you say um, and uh, I like still rolling stones I think that's a good song but that's uh, Lauren Daigle and uh, Look Up Child. Next up is a alternative band from Christian rock band from I think the 90s. Yeah, 90s. Dakota Motor Company. And this is their, son, their CD Into the Sun. Good album. I love this album, man. Like I said, they're a, a um, alternative rock band. Um, Gray Clouds, uh, Sun Dancer. Yeah. Great album. This one from 1993 on... Uh, Murr Records, which is a division of Word Records. That's Dakota Motor Company and Into the Sun. Here's their next album. Welcome Race Fans. This is the album I actually discovered them on. I just love... I think I really just loved it because it was talking about racing. I love watching 
racing, as you can tell from my hat. Uh, I love NASCAR. I love IndyCar. IMSA. Uh, you know, even um, the NHRA. Uh, anyway. This was from 1994 on Murr uh, Records. Um, let's see. Uh, Trip to Pain. Um, Love Runs Home. That's a really good song. Um, let's see. What was the other one? I thought there was one more. It might be Alive. I think that might have been it. You know, but... Anyway, good album. Really, really good. Um, yep, so that's Welcome Race Fans from night from the Dakota Motor Company from 1994. Now, this is their last album. I, I really don't know if they've any, even are around to put anything out since then. I think they might have broken up after this album. But, uh, Here's their 1996 album, Railroad. And this one is on the Atlantic, Atlantic Recording Company. So, so they left Word Records. So I don't know if, I really haven't listened to this one a whole lot. So, not my favorite Dakota Motor Company album, but, you know, it's okay. It's not horrible. Um, probably Rattlesnake is probably the song I remember most from this album. There you go. Dakota Motor Company with the railroad. Now, here is Hope Darst with Peace Be Still. Um, this is a pop, contemporary, maybe more in, more into the worship end of it. But not so much like, like Hillsong or, um, uh, you know, all those worship bands. Um, but this is her debut from 2020 on the uh, Fair Trade record, record, uh, label. Um, let's see. Uh, Peace Be Still, I think, is probably the biggest song off of this album. I mean, I've, I've listened to it a few times. Like I said, it's, it's pretty good. You know. Um, yeah. Hope Darst and Peace Be Still. Now, here we go. This guy I've been following him ever since I saw him on American Idol years ago um I wish he would have won it but he didn't win it that year but it's alright cause he's gone on with his band and put a bunch of records out so that's the only thing that matters and of course it's Daughtry Yes, I love this album. Out of all the albums that they put out, this is my favorite. Um, it's not over. Home, over you, feels like tonight. Um, let's see what else. What about now? Awesome awesome album and this one was from uh, 
I gotta put the writing so small. Uh, can't see a date on here. Maybe I can find one on the CD real quick. Looks like 2005, maybe 2006. So that's Daughtry's debut album. Next up is their second one, uh, Leave This Town. Good album. I love this album. It's a good one. Uh, no Surprise. That's a really good song. I also like uh, September and Ghost of Me. Um, Call Your Name. Um, and what I meant to say, good, good stuff. Um, yeah, just an all around good album. Um, 2006 on, uh, 19 records, RCA records, same, it's the same record label that put out the first one, so. Yep. And then here's their next one. Breaking the Spell. Another really good um, album from them. Um. Let's see, uh, Crawling Back to You, um, Break the Spell, uh, let's see, We're Not Gonna Fall, it's a great, great album. Okay, this one looks like it's from 2011, it looks like. So that's... Let's break the spell from Daughtry. Next up is... Baptize by Daughtry. This one was from twenty thirteen. This one's got a lot of good songs on it too. I love this album. This one would have to be my second favorite Daughtry album. First would be in their debut album. But it's got uh Waiting for Superman. Battleships, uh, Long Live Rock and Roll, um, The World We Knew, High Above the Ground, 19 Years, and then it's also got some bonus tracks on here, because I got the Deluxe Edition, so it's got um, Undefeated, Cinderella, and an acoustic version of Battleships. That's Daughtry and Baptized. Next up is It's Not Over, the hit so far. Um, yeah, I think there's two songs on here that are new. I think it's... Uh, Let 
think it's Torches and Go Down, which is the last two songs on the album. This one was uh, put out in 2015 on uh, 19 RCA Records. I'm sorry. That's it. It's not over. The hit so far from Daughtry. Then here's uh, Ink is called. Oh, Cage to Rattle. This is probably my least favorite Daughtry album. I just, I just could not really get into this album. I mean, I don't know what it was. It was. It was a while. This is 2018. It was a long time between their hit, their greatest hits album, and this one. So I just, I just really didn't get into it a whole lot. But I mean, there were a couple good songs. Um, just found heaven was a good one. Stuff of Legends, White Flag. I mean, there, there were a few good songs on here. I mean, it's not a complete waste. I mean, there are probably people that think this is a good album, one of their best albums. Well, it just wasn't me. This wasn't what I thought it what would be. But, you know, other than that. And when, yeah, like I said, this came out in 2018, so it's been a while, so. And it's still on 19 and RCA Records, so. That's Cage to Rattle from Daughtry. Here's their latest one called uh, Dearly Beloved. Just came out last year in 2021 on Dog Tree Records. Um, I tell you, this album is was great, and it just barely missed the top ten of my uh, my my uh, favorite albums of 2021. I mean, it was almost there, but there was just so many good things that came out last year. Um, Let's see, World on Fire, Heavy is the Crown, Changes Are Coming, Dearly Beloved, uh, Cry for Help, Somebody, Call, Call You Mine, uh, Lioness, Break Into My Heart. Really good album. Probably my third favorite Daughtry record. That's Daughtry with Dearly Beloved. Next up from 1990 on Giant Records, a division of Benson Music Company, is David and the Giants. Uh, Distant Journey. I just, I loved this album when I first found it on cassette at a Christian bookstore. It's just awesome. It's just loaded with stuff. Um, Never Had It So Good, uh, Time On My Side, Anchored Deep, Do You Feel What I Feel, Quiet Faith, Tear It Down, let Go, Let God, Can't Live Without You, Distant Journey, Won't Stop Believing, and Easy Loving You, and Time on My Side. Oh. I mean, there's just great song after great song after great song. It's just produced by David Huff, who was the lead singer, vocalist of David and the Giants. They had a few albums out. 
don't have any other ones. I just got this one. It's like one of my favorites. If I ever do an all-time best album uh, countdown, this one will be on it. Two more left and then we're done. From 2004 on Provident Label Group. It's Day of Fire. A hard, heavy, rock album. Uh, uh, the, uh, the lead singer of this group. Um, who is right there uh he used to be the lead singer of a non-christian band called uh full full devil jacket i think is what it was called um but sadly from what i heard this band is no longer around they put three or four albums out and he just left and went back to his old band and hasn't really been heard of from heard from since um but yeah this album is just great um through the fire cornerstone um rain the rain song i am the door Fade Away. I mean, just great. Great stuff. Wish they had still been around, because these guys would be kicking butt. But, anyway. It is what it is. That's Day of Fire from 2004. Just their self-titled album, Day of Fire. Here's their next one. Cut and Move. Uh, this one came out in 2006. Still on the Provident label. Um, it didn't really change the sound. Uh, they were still pretty good. Pretty hard rocking. Um, let's see. Um, Love. Uh, Run. Cut and Move. Regret. Um, when the Light and Reborn are the pretty good out songs off this album. Um, yeah. Like I said, I wish they'd still be around. That's Cut and Move from Day of Fire from 2006. Well, that's going to do it. Um, yeah, just if you like the video, hit the likes, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe because I'm going to keep on going. And I got a long way to go. Um, so until then, stay safe and see you later.